Good morning, good morning. Merry Christmas. We just want to welcome you to the First Baptist Church of Washington Hills, our morning worship service. And we're glad that you is a part of it, whether you're here in person or in virtual land. At this time, we want to open our service with joy to the world. And we ask the congregation to stand and lift little your voices as we sing joy to the world. Say among the heathen that the Lord reigneth. 
The world also shall be established that it shall not be moved. He shall judge the people righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and the fullness thereof. Let the field be joyful on all that is therein. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice. Before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. Amen. Amen. Let me be seated. Morning, church. It is Christmas. Amen. Merry Christmas to everybody. Everybody by your heads, please. Our Father, Lord, and heaven, Lord, we come today just to say thank you. We thank you for this day, Lord, that we don't know exactly the day, but today, Lord, the Lord, we are celebrating today as your birthday. Lord, we thank you that you have given us your son, Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you that he went to the world and cross for our sin. Lord, we thank you this morning for salvation. Lord, You've been mighty good to us. So we thank you. Lord, you have given us more than we need. We thank you this morning, Lord. Lord, we thank you this morning that you woke us up in our right mind. Lord, we thank you that if you got gifts this morning, praise God. If you didn't get gifts this morning, praise God. God is still worthy to be praised. So Lord, this morning we thank you for reading our minds this morning. Lord, we thank you for food on our table, clothes on our back, shoes on our feet. Lord, we thank you this morning. Because, <clears throat> Lord, you have truly been better to us than we have been to ourselves. Lord, so we're praying for the bereaved family all over the land today, Lord. Lord, somebody is hurting this morning. Someone has lost a loved one, Lord. Lord someone is lost in sin. So, Lord, we pray that you show up and show out this morning for somebody that they may have peace, that they may have joy in their heart this morning, knowing what you have done for us. Lord, we're praying for those in hospital, those in nursing home, those in boxing being, those that are incarcerated. Lord, we just all need you this morning. So Lord, we're praying for our children. Lord, we pray that you, as parents and, and grandparents, Help us to get a hold of our children and our grandchildren and bring them to you, Lord, that they may praise and, and worship your holy name, that they may bring their children, that they may bring their children, that they may bring their children to worship and praise you, Lord. Because, Lord, this morning you are worthy of all we have. So this morning, Lord, we want to say hallelujah to your holy Lord. Name, God, we want to say thank you this morning for all you have done. Lord, this morning we got a reason to praise you because you are our God. You are our only one God. We thank you this morning. Lord, we, we thank you that you've given us a place that we can come and worship you, Lord. We, we thank you. Lord, we, we pray for the word today. Lord, we pray today that the word cut somebody hard and drawn to you, Lord, that they may want to be saved today. Lord, we love you. Lord, this morning we're praying for our pastor, Pastor Thompson, Pastor Smith. Lord, we pray that you bless him and keep on blessing him and keep on blessing him. Yes. Lord, we pray that you put something in their heart that may, be, may go out into this whole world and change somebody mind, change somebody yes. heart, that yes. may give them a new walk, that may give them a new talk, that may lead them to you today, Lord. Oh, Lord, this morning we're praying for those on the skin road this morning. Oh, Lord, for the last couple of days, it's been cold. So, Lord, we pray that you find them shelter somewhere, somehow, that they may keep warm. Oh, Lord, it's rough out here. But I tell you, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me, and the world can't take it away. This peace that I have, the world didn't give it to me, and the world can't take it away. Talk about salvation this morning. 
Oh Lord knows that's the greatest gift that God could ever give us. But Lord, we thank you that there was a lot of things coming from that. Lord, we thank you for healing this morning. We thank you that you are better than us than we've been to ourselves. Yeah, Lord, we yeah. thank you you have given us homes to, to live in. Lord, we thank you for the heat. We thank you for the earth. Oh, Lord, you're good. Somebody need to know this morning, Lord, how good you really are. Yeah. We go around in our daily walk and our daily talking and do this and do that. But God is good to every soul that's sick here. So I pray today, praise God with your whole heart. I pray this morning. Give God what's due back to God. And you, you want to be blessed? Be a blessing. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you. Yeah. We love you. We honor you. We praise you yeah. right now.
We are glad you joined our service this morning. Feel free to come again. Amen. First two Sunday school lessons at 8 o'clock a.m. via Facebook Live and on YouTube. Then sanctuary services. Sunday school at 9.30 a.m. Morning worship 10.30 a.m. Also streaming Facebook Live. Virgil Bible study each Wednesday at 6 o'clock p.m. via Facebook Live and on YouTube. Happy birthday to everyone in the month of December. Amen. Let us pray for one another. Merry Christmas. I hope you receive one blessing after another this coming year. Amen. will be held Saturday, January 14th at Galilee. <coughs> the guest speaker will be Sister Diane Dominique from the Galilee Baptist Church. It's going to be at 11.30 and that is on a Saturday, January 14th. Amen. 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 Amen.
all say amen. Amen. It's so good to see you all out. Amen. Amen. Christmas morning. Amen. The day that we celebrate the birth of Christ. Amen. Good to see the Father back in the cottage. Rituals 
Ghost to celebrate the birth of Jesus. Amen. The Catholic Church was unable to move away from how the pagans began to celebrate the birth of Jesus. So they adopted the pagan rituals to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We celebrate Jesus' birth because his birth ensures us All right. everlasting life. All right. Amen. 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 So this child who is the Son of God has given to us with the capacity to do for us what we cannot do for ourselves. Because this gift of the Son is given, is invested with the highest honor and power so that we cannot but be victorious in this world that we live in. But we must accept him as our Savior. This gift that keeps on blessing us over and over and over again. I don't care how commercialized this day has become. All right, all right. It's to set aside to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Santa Claus has become bigger than Jesus right, come on, on the 25th man. day of December. All right, all right. But Christ is bigger yes. than yes. Santa Claus. Yes. 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 Santa Claus can't get to heaven unless he sells Jesus. Can I get a witness? The gift that keeps on blessing over and over and over again is Jesus the Christ. The prophet Isaiah gave us seven reasons why we should know that this celebration that we observe every year is important. Give us seven reasons. Because of the gift that God has given to humanity that can supply all humanity needs mm -hmm. without limits. Amen. Amen. I don't care where you at, how far you stray, mm -hmm. what life you have made for yourself. Once you accept Christ Jesus as your Savior, mm -hmm. He wipes yes, your sins away. Yes, Amen. Amen. There's no application you have to apply for. Oh, yeah, man. There's no background check that he looks to see. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't look at you eh, like the world looks at you. That's right, man. Once you accept Jesus as your personal Savior, yeah. he wipes your sins Amen. away. Amen. Amen. Do we sin? Yes, we still sin. Yes, but because he died on the cross, he took all the sins and applied them to himself. Yeah. And now when we sin, amen, he looks down and he says to the Father, I died in my blood to cover us that sin. Uh -huh. For he's faithful and he's just to forgive us of all sins. Yeah. Not only to forgive us, but he cleanses us of all unrighteousness. The cleansing mechanism is restoring us Back to our proper position with fellowship with God Himself. Amen. Sin breaks fellowship. Amen. He cleanses us of all unrighteousness. It is it's an impossible for us to come to God with the sin nature that is upon us. But once He has washed us, we become whiter than snow. Amen. And once He has washed us, we can approach the throne of grace. Amen. Because of what He done. On the cross. The first of the seven gifts that is given to us is that a child is born. Our Savior Jesus Christ clothed himself in human flesh, came into the world as a baby, born to a virgin girl by the name of Mary, who was espoused. To Joseph. Yes, the birth of Jesus is the reason why we celebrate. And of course, we all know that Jesus was not born on December the 25th. Yeah. 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 The world will argue that point. Yeah. The world will argue that, that he was not born on December the 25th to try to get you to walk away. Amen. From celebrating his birth. Yes, right. We don't debate with the world. We, we, we know what the Bible says. 
He was born in a manger. Yes. Because there was no room in the inn. Yes. Born next to animals in the barn. Yes. Then mother wrapped him in quite swaddling clothes. Yes. Wrappings that they were wrapping cow when she wrapped him in swaddling clothes. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead. Lied him in the manger. Wasn't born in a palace. Wasn't born in a Langer hospital. Wasn't born in a Lamar hospital. He didn't have, she didn't have to go through all of the things that yes, sir. Yeah. normal pregnancy people will have, women have to go through. Yeah. Right. Now, yes, he came into the world through the virgin girl mm -hmm. by the name of Mary. Yeah. Yeah. What is so significant about his birth is this. Is that he said to the father, make me a body. And I go down and I redeem man of his soul. The Bible said in Hebrews, he said he came in the volume of the book. He came through 42 generations yes, to say, well, son of man like me. Yeah. A son of boy and girl like you. Yeah. Didn't ask what my name was. Didn't care what lineage I came from. Came into the world to save humanity from their sin. The ancients of days, that's what they call them. The ancients of days became a child to fulfill prophecy that a child would be born. And his name would be called Emmanuel, meaning God with us. He promised never to leave us. He promised to never ever to forsake us. God with us. In other words, God himself put on flesh, human flesh, and walked among us. He know the pains it is to be tired. He know what it is to be thirsty. He know what it is to have people talk about you. He know all about it. He know more about it than you and I know about ourselves. He know every grain of hair that's on our head. He know what tomorrow is going to bring. He don't worry. We worry. Because he's Emmanuel. God with us. You see, God made a covenant with the nation of Israel that he was going to send a Messiah to redeem them from the wages of sin. Every mother that gave birth to a child was hoping and praying that that boy child or male child would be the Messiah. Yes. And then men, men, the fathers would hope that they would get a male child and when they had a girl child, they frowned because they had a girl child. Amen. 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 Somebody. Mm -hmm. Because women back in those days was treated like property. They didn't have the they didn't have the say so in marriage. It wasn't a 50 50 marriage is one, it was 90 10. Mm -hmm. They held 10% of the marriage. Mm -hmm. They couldn't function alone with the man. They couldn't walk alongside the man. Their duties was properly with just taking care of the house mm -hmm. and raising the children. Mm -hmm. But the ancient of days came, yeah. wrapped himself in human flesh, mm -hmm. walked among. He knew what it is. Amen. One day, Jesus was on the backside of the mountain down in Jerusalem, and he was just minding his own business. And the scribes and Pharisees brought a woman to him, a man that was caught in adultery, uh -huh. trying to trap Jesus. And Jesus just bent down and started writing. Yes, right. Yes. All right. The scribes and the tribes and the Pharisees said to Jesus, "This woman was caught in adultery." The Moses said, "She shall be stoned." What do you say? They said that to him, trap Jesus. He kept, yes, kept on writing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And after he rose up, he said, He that was without any sin cast the first stone. Uh -huh. Then he kneeled back down and started writing Amen. on the ground. Yeah. Yeah. See, the preachers back in the old days would say, would say something. He would write it in the names of the ones who were gathered around the women. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody knows when he would write it right. on the ground. But when he raised up, the Bible said the elders to the youngest had dropped their rock. Dropped that rock Amen. and Amen. walked away. Amen. Come on, man. Then he looked at the woman that was yes. caught in the dust and he said, Where are thou accusers? Yes. And she looked around and said, There is none. Amen. He Come said, Neither do I accuse you. Amen. Go and see it. No more. Amen. Running Boo was down on MLK one night doing his thing that nobody could see him in the dark that was doing his thing. Caught in sin. They locked behind bars. Amen. They called mama and daddy. Mama, come and get me. Daddy said, I ain't coming to get 
that you yeah. want. I told you not to do it. Went down, went, went, to my, went to my box, sent on my box, and said, Lord, you know I've been in Sunday school. Yeah. <laughs> Lord, you know I know the golden rule. Yeah. And early that morning, Mama came and got me. Amen. And she said, I don't care what you've done. Yeah. You're my boy. Come on. Come on, baby. That's what Jesus would do. He doesn't care what your sins are. He reached down to the door. Say no, you wait. Yeah. That's the child that was born. Then out of that same gift, a son is given. Hold on. This time the gift is a son, meaning that the sacrifice is going to be made, and everyone that believed on the son will receive eternal life. Amen. Now the son of God will be sacrificed on the cross for mankind. Amen. Think about it. He gives his only begotten son uh -huh. mm -hmm. into this world. Mm -hmm. And he, he has one on the one clause. Whosoever shall believe on him That's it. shall not perish, uh -huh. but have everlasting life. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you realize, do you realize how often, how many times mm -hmm. John 3.16 has been preached all, right. all over the world? Uh -huh. And there's still many who are not accepting Jesus yeah. as their personal yeah. Savior. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what, listen, this is what James Smith said. Hell have enlarged themselves. Mm -hmm. Because hell was created for the Satan and his imps. Yes. Amen. 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 You see, all the things that we do in the world, doping, cursing, smoking, having solicit sex, or whatever you want to do. Is, is, is not going to get you to hell. Uh -huh. right. It's the bright product of sin. Right. What will send you to hell is for you to not accept Jesus Christ as your Savior. Amen. 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 All those things we do in the world, keep on doing. Mm -hmm. But long if you accept Christ Jesus as your personal Savior, Amen. you shall have eternal life. Amen. Amen. Let's look at the third. The third. The third. Yeah. The prophet Isaiah says, the government shall be on his shoulder. Yes. I wish man he was, he was employed right now. <laughs> Seems like they're messing things up up there, right? right. Yeah. They, they separated between the Democrats and the Republicans. Mm -hmm. And they, they, they want to see who control, amen, the Senate mm -hmm. and the House. Mm -hmm. Amen. Whoever control, amen, has, whoever control would, would hold up with whatever benefits that the people will receive. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Amen. And so they squabble among themselves. Amen. We elected those politicians, amen, to serve us. Yeah. But they serve themselves. Amen. That's all. Amen. 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 And then every year they come back and petition to us what they're going to do when they get in the White House. Amen. And we go down to the poll and we vote them back in. Every year, every year we vote them back in. Yeah. Amen. They do the same thing. Yeah. Same thing. Yes, I wish the government, the government was on his show. Which means that God would judge the world through the Lordship Amen. of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is according to 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 8. It is put in his hand. He said, Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown. This is Paul talking to Timothy. Mm -hmm. He said, Paul, I got a crown. I ain't worried about it no more. I got a crown laid up for me. Yes, he said, I, he said, Timothy, I got a crown of righteousness laid up for me. Yes, Paul not declaring that he's righteous because the righteousness that Paul had received had been inputted through Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. We all have received the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Amen. In other words, when we stand before God, amen, the righteousness of Jesus Christ is upon us. Yes. He don't look at us and all the negative things, negativity things that we have done in the world. Right. He looks at us because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. He says this, the home of the, the people, he said, which the Lord, the righteous judge, should kill me at that day. He was confident that he had done the work that God had set him out to do. 
He was confident when he stood before him that he would say, well done, thou good and faithful. Can we all say that? Amen. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the gift that God has given to humanity will be Jesus. Amen. Will bear upon his shoulder the cross of Calvary for the saving of the soul. Yeah. Amen. This is why we celebrate. It's because God's gift to humanity keeps on giving and giving over and over and over again. That is why Jesus is called wonderful counselor. Yes. And justifiable his soul. You can tell him whatever you want to tell him. He won't tell nobody. Amen, somebody. I don't care what time you wake up in the midnight hour, you can call him and tell him all about your problem. And he won't tell nobody. And what's wonderful about him being a wonderful counselor, he can solve the problems that you have. You call the problem solved. You dial one for the one for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Ghost. Amen. It's, it's hard to explain the supernatural way he blesses us. It's hard to, 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 to phantom how he can work things out for us, even when we're bad. Amen. He works things Amen. out for us. Amen. When we don't spend all our money. Amen. Amen. And our money don't look, our money look kind of funny. Yeah. He still works things out for us. Amen. 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 It's, it's, he, he opened doors. That's been shut in our lives. Yes, yes. And then what, what I love about it, he shut doors in our life. The same doors that we call out, find ourselves stumbling over. He shut those doors. Oh, hey. To keep us from stumbling yes, and falling. Hey. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. You ain't got to go to him and lay down on the couch. <laughs> and see, when you go to a, a, a psychiatrist, you do all the talking. Yes, sir. And they just, they just be guiding your conversation <laughs> by simple little words. Yeah. How you feel? Yeah. What would you do? Yeah. <laughs> what was your thoughts when you? <laughs> Did you feel violent? <laughs> <laughs> and if you notice now, they're writing all that stuff down. Yeah. Amen. Now those in the VA, when you go to them, they write that stuff down. They pass that stuff, that information on. That, that information is not secret. Uh, right. Amen. Because if you valid, they go, he's valid. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. You need to send the CIA over there and watch that one. <laughs> but he's a wonderful counselor. Amen. That's what I love about him. He, he understands me. He understands you. Yeah. Amen. From the rocking of your crater up until this present time, he's been understanding who you are. Yeah. All of us got different personalities, and he understands yeah. our personalities. Yeah. One day we're happy, next day we're mad. Yeah. If you're in a relationship with a woman, one day she's happy, and the next day she's mad. Watch out, man. Watch out. Watch out. Amen. And, and yeah. Yeah. what I love about God, he, what I love about him is that he, 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 he allows us to have our differences. Yeah. But he never changes. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Yeah. He don't care if you get married. Yeah. He don't care if you pull your hair out. Uh -huh. Amen. He don't care about all that. What he cares about is that you're looking towards the hills, which come into him, knowing that your help comes from the Lord. Yeah. So when you have done all of those crazy things, you got to look to the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Tell them all about it. Yeah. If you ever call somebody and try to start telling them about your problem, and they start telling you about their problem. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, I called you. <laughs> now you unloading on me. <laughs> Amen. Isaiah was given a vision. He was given this vision when he was caught up unto the Spirit of God. He saw Jesus. He saw Jesus high and lifted up. He saw him sitting on the throne. When he saw Jesus, he realized how undone his life was. Amen. He said, woe is me. I'm undone. Amen. The moment we have a personal relationship or a personal contact with him, when you really have a personal contact with him, your life will change. Amen. Every, if you read the Bible, if you're an average Bible reader, if you don't read the Bible as much, 
Everyone he's come in contact with, their life will change. They went away changed. Everyone that he went to, everyone, their life will change. All right? What about the man? What about the man that was that had all of those demons, demonic spirits in him, and he was in the graveyard, uh-huh. cutting himself with stones? Uh-huh. Amen. When he saw Jesus, the Bible said in Luke, he ran to him, amen, and fell down and started worshiping him. Because he, the demonic spirit recognized who Jesus was. The first thing that the demonic spirit said to Jesus, have you come, amen, to cast us out before time? They knew that time was limited on the earth. And Jesus asked the question, who are you? Amen. And they began to tell Jesus who he was. Amen. The Bible said it was, it was over a thousand de- demonic spirits living in that one body, mm-hmm. that one vessel, so cutting themselves in, in the graveyard. And when, 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 they, when, when they realized that Jesus was going to cast the demonic spirits out, they said, don't cast us out to an abyss. Let us go into the swine. And when Jesus cast them out into the swine, the swine ran over and killed them. Mm-hmm. When the people in the village found out that Jesus had cast the demonic spirit out of the man and, the, and all their swines had died, mm-hmm. they told Jesus to leave us, leave the town, go, get out of here, man. You don't kill all our pigs. <laughs> but the man was sitting on the side of the road. Amen. He was clothed in his right mind. Listen, whenever Christ Jesus come into your heart, he will close you in your right mind. He was sitting on the side of the road, clothed in his right mind. And he said to Jesus, let me go with you. Jesus said, no, you go back home. Go back home and show the people the, the blessing that you have received. Can you imagine him going back home? He's been gone a long time. He was crazy when he was at home, but they ran him away from home. Right. So you got to get out of here. Yeah, All right. that craziness. <laughs> and went back home and he was in his right mind. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Amen, somebody. Yeah. He will bring us to our right mind. He will clothe us in our right mind. Yeah. My prayer is every morning. Thank you for thank you for clothing me in my right mind. Yeah. Yeah. Do you realize how many people wake up in the morning and not clothed in their right mind? All right. All right. Dementia has set in. All right. yeah. Amen. They don't remember. They woke up there and know where they at. You got to thank God for that. Amen. 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 Do you know, then I say reasonable portion of my health and strength. I know I'm not in the best health, best health but reasonable portion of my health and strength, I thank him for it. Amen. I think that I can walk. Amen. Amen. I think I can close myself, my, my, put my own clothes on. Amen. I, I, I thank him I think for helping me to get tired enough to lay down. Amen. At my age, that takes a lot of naps. <laughs> and don't be offended if you're talking to me and all of a sudden I start nodding. I'm up in age and I do some things like that. I don't have a sleeping all, I just nap all the time. Amen. That's, that's how wonderful Christ is. Amen, somebody. When, 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 when Isaiah saw him high and lifted up, he said, I'm undone. Amen. When you see him, you are undone. But because he died on the cross, amen, now he has put his righteousness on us. We can stand before the righteous judge. Amen. Amen. And we're going to give account of the deeds done in the body. Amen. Look, look at these gifts again. God has given us, gave us a child. He wrapped him in earth and flesh. Amen. He walked among us for 30 and a half years. This child was the son of God. He said, whosoever shall, shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. This was the wonderful gift of God. Amen. The gift that keeps on giving. Isaiah said the government would be upon his shoulder, but we don't have to worry because he's the one of the council. And then Isaiah proclaimed in the fifth gift that God has given to humanity a mighty God. He's a mighty, mighty God. Not a weak God, but a mighty, mighty God. Listen, listen, listen. Demons tremble at the name of Jesus. It's in the Bible. They tremble at the name of Jesus. I mean, so, so when things start by themselves, oh, Jesus, 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 demonic spirits tremble at that name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. He, he's a mighty, he was born a mighty God. 
mankind, amen, from mankind from generation to generation have seen the, the wonderful works that God has performed. Amen. amen. Listen, listen. You remember the story, amen, when they began to cross over the Jordan River over to Jericho? Mm -hmm. Amen. Moses had died. Mm -hmm. Right? And they did a they did a 30-day thing weeping for Moses. Mm -hmm. God said, Moses, my servant, is now dead. Mm -hmm. As I was with Moses, he told Joshua, I shall be with you. Amen. Right? He said, gather these people up and go over Jordan. Right? He said, every foot, every step that you make, he said, I'm going to bless you. Amen. Joshua says, servants over to the other side to, to spy out the land. Yes. Ten of them said, there were giants over there. We cannot do it. Two of them said, we can do it because we got a mighty God. Amen. amen. And those who believe, amen, the majority, amen, he, he, he's speaking them. Amen. Uh, when they crossed over Jordan, the people over in Jericho said, we have heard about your God. Yes. People know about your God. Amen. They know the God you serve. They watch you this morning putting your clothes on say, why the hell? Amen. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't they know it's Christmas? They watch you, amen, every morning preparing yourself to go to Sunday school and church. Amen. They watch you go through your difficult time when you're sick. Amen. They watch you how you praise God while you're going through your sickness. They watch you to see how you're going to, how you're going to fare, amen, when you're going through your difficult times. Amen. But they don't understand we are, we are more than come. Greater is he that's in us. He that's in the world. Amen, son. He's a mighty God. Yeah. Then notice what, the, notice what the sixth one says. He's the everlasting Father. Yeah. Everlasting Father. Amen. Amen. What we must understand, the triune God is made up of three, three, tri, three, three, uh, three, three gods. Father, mm -hmm. the Son, mm -hmm. and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Then how can Jesus be a father when we already got a father, mm -hmm. son, and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Amen. But he says it's going to be an everlasting father. Amen. That's what scripture says? Yes, sir. Everlasting father. The everlasting father is translated literally as a father, amen, with the emphasis placed on the father who protects mm -hmm. and provides. Amen. Amen. amen? He protects and provides like an earthly father would to his father. To his family. That's right. Amen. You see, he was born, he was, he was, we were born, when we were born again, we were placed into the family of Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. 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 And he caters, I mean, the word cater may not be good, but he hears I ever cry. Yes. Amen. He comes to our aid when we are sick. He comes to our aid when we are in trouble. He comes to our aid when we need provision. So he provides things for us so that we can make it down here on this earth. Amen. He, 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 he comes to us like a father because he understands our ups and he understands our downs. Yeah, yeah. He, he understands our frame. He understands our mood swings that we have. He, he's an earth, he's a he's an everlasting father, meaning, meaning there is no end to his lordship or fathership over humanity. Amen, son. Amen. Then lastly, he says, he's the prince. Prince of peace. Amen. Amen. Uh -huh. I've been in some chaotic situation where I've been praying, Lord, I need some peace in this situation. All right. All right. Uh -huh. I've been in some arguments mm -hmm. it seemed like I couldn't win the argument. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or oh, been in some debates. Mm -hmm about scripture, mm -hmm. amen, where the other person walked away disagreeing with me mm -hmm. according to scripture, mm -hmm. amen, mm -hmm. and, and then de denounced me as their friend mm -hmm. because I didn't believe the way they believed. Oh, amen. A amen. amen. Folks will walk away from me. Oh, friends, the friends you have Amen. Your friends got to understand that I'm a Christian. Yeah. I don't do what the world do. Come on, man. I don't behave as the world behaves. 
You got to tell the story. You and our friend have to accept me just as I am. Amen. And then your friend, they will just accept stop. me as you are. Amen. 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 The, the Hebrew word for peace is shalom. Amen. Do you hear when you hear the Jews mm -hmm. and you hear those uh, the Muslims, the, the Islamic folks, when they say shalom? Mm -hmm. They're bidding the person peace mm -hmm. as they depart. Amen. They're decreeing peace as they depart. Amen. Amen. And right before Jesus died, he said to his disciples in John 14, 20, 27, the peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world give, as I give. This peace that I give, the world can't take it away. Come on, man. He says to them right before he's going to cross, he said, let not your heart be troubled. I'm close. Let not your heart be troubled. Uh -huh. You heard me say it many times. That yeah. word let stands out. Mm -hmm. You got to underscore that word let. Mm -hmm. Yo, those college kids, English majors, you know what let means. Yeah. It's something that you let happen. Yes. Come on, Pat. Oh. Amen? Come on, you let somebody in. <laughs> All right. All right. Amen? You let that person do to you. All right. Amen? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can, can, I, can I talk about Marcus? Amen. Come in the house just yesterday evening. Went out a coat. Left with a coat. <laughs> Where your coat? I'm sorry, Papa. Where, where your coat? <laughs> the boy took it off of me. He let the boy take it off for him. Yeah, right. Come on now. Right? I said, boy, go get your coat. <laughs> I feel like my dad. Go get your coat. <laughs> Don't come in without your coat. He come back out, went down. He, I watched him. He just went to the edge of the car and waited a moment. Then came back in. I said, where your coat? I'm going to find it, Papa. I said, boy, don't let me tear you up, boy. Then I looked around. When I looked around, there was his coat. Man on the chair. I said, man, I was, man your coat on the chair. This is what he said to me. You owe me an apology, Papa. <laughs> I'm, I'm, saying, I'm saying this. He has a tendency to let his friends yeah. take his toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To come on the porch and take his other bikes. He yeah. running behind the boy while the boy riding his bike. Yeah. He, he let him. He let him. I know his seat, he's trying to win friendship. Yeah. With the boys in the community, yeah. but he's allowing them, he's letting them. Uh -huh. This is what Jesus is saying. Don't allow, amen, hardship and trouble to enter into your heart. Amen. You don't allow that to come into your heart. Uh -huh. You don't go and get into a relationship, but you enter into a gruesome relationship, and the other party is just a bruise, and you don't allow that to happen to you. I don't care how much she looked. I don't care how, how, how great she looked. Come on, man. You don't allow nobody to approve you. Yeah. He loves you. No, don't let nobody approve you. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah. Oh. If daddy didn't approve you, mama didn't approve you, don't let nobody else approve you. Oh, yeah. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Yeah. If you believe in God, be also. Amen. Let me, let me close Give me, give me that seven verse. Verse seven. I'm going to close it. Verse seven. I got excited. We need to still have a Christmas day to celebrate. Notice what it says. All of the things that he said in the sixth verse, he, he, he sums it up in the seventh verse. He said, of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. There's no end to his peace. The peace that God gives us Passes all understanding. Why are you, why are you, why are you crying? Ain't nothing happened to you. Why are you shouting when you should be crying? His peace surpasses all understanding. Then he said, "Upon the throne of David," he says, "He came to the lineage of David. He's now sitting on the throne of David." That's what he told David. David, you, he said, David, you would, your throne would all, you always have somebody sitting on your throne. Amen. He said, upon his kingdom, 
He's sitting on the throne upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth ever, even forever. Then he closed the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform it. I don't care what you, where you at, what you go to, the Lord will perform it. Yeah. We headed to the end, right? Yeah. And what we what we want to get to in our in our Christian walk is to be there with Him. Amen. We've been talking about heaven. Amen. Everybody that want to go to heaven, Amen, is not going to heaven. Amen. Amen. Somebody. Amen. Even those who preach, teach, and do good things, He says. He said, "Tell them." He said, "Yes, you preach and you teach, Amen, and you you call out demons." He said, "But depart from me. I don't know you. Never knew." You. Yeah. Amen. That's what we had. Amen. Jesus is the reason for the season. He's the reason for the season. He hung on the cross. Amen. Not the, the Christmas tree, but he hung on the tree. Yes, sir. Yeah. For you and for me. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. He died on the cross. Yes. Went all the way. 30 and some odd years. Amen. All the way. Yes. Died on the cross. Mm -hmm. He didn't stay dead. The mm -hmm. Bible says they put him in a bar mm -hmm. Three days. He rose with all power. Yes. 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 Now he's sitting on the right hand of the cross. Oh, yes. 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 He's sitting there interceding for you as well as for me. Amen. He is the reason Amen. for the season. Amen. We give gifts. Because the gift was given to us. Yeah. Yeah. We give gifts to loved ones and others Amen. to show our love and appreciation for what they've done. Yeah. Yeah. But the greatest gift they give to humanity mm -hmm. was Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Give us a good amen. amen. We just stand to your feet. Praise the Lord. Diane's his birth he had done here. If you're here today and you have not accepted Christ as your personal Savior, and you want to take this opportunity to give your life to him as a gift, what you doing today? Come by now, come on the Christian experience, or come as a candidate. His arms are open to you.